it was a brilliant white light. And it had a on the cell which was a so Saw a large ball of fire coming at us like the falling of the sun. We look at sky with great fear. We know what it means. It and of world. Victor Sims, the Z historian. In the early hours of October 5th, 1950, two physicians were on their way to one of the native hospitals in Mazaboka when a strange light crossed the skies with an intensity that lit up the countryside as though it was midday. The huge fireball, described as the size of the sun, flashed across the sky in a south-southwest direction towards Kafir Flats before imploding with a tremendous sound that echoed over 52,000 square kilometers. Now the physicians were not the only ones to experience the strange light. Two villages in the area of Mwanachiwinda, Chiteba and Chizuni, not only saw the light but experienced strange fragments. Another report of the incident came from an African employee by the name of Aaron of Lockingfire Estate adjacent to the two villages. In his report, Aaron claimed that he had seen a large object which he connected to the light shoot down, break a log in half before lodging itself more than four feet in the ground. Of course, it is difficult to establish the object's exact line of flight owing to several conflicting reports. However, residents of Chiteba village, being closest to the source of the explosion, said it flew approximately 312 degrees magnetic over Nteme, the seat of Chief Chong. Unsurprisingly, by far the most detailed, albeit sensational account of the incident is one recorded from Chief Chongo himself. At about 4.20 a.m. on the feet, I was awake inside my home. And suddenly I noticed a bright light outside. I ran outside. It consisted the head and tail. The head was deep red in color. There was a violent explosion. At the ground of my house shook, there came a strong, constant, and very cold wind, which followed over the direction from which the light had come. Nothing happened after the wind had died away and all was silent. Again. About a week elapsed before anything further was heard about the strange light. Meanwhile, speculations went on in the Mazaboka Monze area. Talks in the village, markets and hotels, which by then were normally to do with crops, local gossip and the coming of the rains, were now dominated by rumors of the mysterious occurrence of the light source which came from the heavens. Eventually, unable to quench his people's curiosity and of course his own, Chief Chongo paid a visit to the district commission. In his pockets were three small pieces of brown black crystal-like stones, which Chief Jongo handed over to Mr. Vo, the district commissioner of Mazabuk. Having his own suspicions, Mr. Vo sent the fragments to H.H.J. Lambert, a geologist under the Ministry of Land and Natural Resources, who immediately, through his department, arranged for a visit to Chiteba village. At the village, a search was made and about 7 kilograms of a meteorite was discovered. Initially, the villagers were afraid to touch the strange material until Lambert and his team calmed their fears. After the discovery, the director of civil aviation offered a plane to search for the head of the meteorite and a survey of over 300 square kilometers was made. The firm view found location of meteorite head. Negative Dr. Lambert, nothing found.
It was then that it was decided to name the fragments found as part of the Monze meteorite, Monze being the nearest place to the disintegration of the celestial object. A typical specimen of the meteorite consisted fine-grained greenish-gray stone, which, even with the naked eye, could be seen to be sparkled with a tin white metal alloy or sulfate. Without a doubt, the Monza meteorite, which many of the locals mistook for the falling of the sun, was one of the most spectacular and memorable moments in the history of that area, and best described by the words of Chief Jongo. As it crossed the moon, I noticed it was sending out many screamers of fire, which crossed and zigzagged in over direction. It was scary and glorious at the same time, unlike nothing anyone had ever seen before. 